Hello and welcome back. Thank you for uh, joining us this morning for our reading of a book for S. Cargo by Dashka Slater. And uh, we're just super excited that you were able to join us again this week. Uh, this week's craft that goes along with the book, we are going to be making our own little snail. And we will be using uh, watercolor paints, um, either construction paper, or cardstock, whatever you have on hand. Uh, coffee filters, or if you happen to have any watercolor paper at home, uh, scissors, googly eyes, Sharpie marker, and some glue. So if you want to gather those all up, we'll go ahead and get started. And this is just a little sample of what our little guy will look like today. See, the watercolors dry really nicely, and you just put him on a little bit of cardstock, and you have your little escargo snail. So to start, I always like to have a scratch or sample piece of paper to do any painting or gluing or anything like that. So um, I cut down the coffee filter a little bit just so it fit within my template that I cut out. And what you'll want to do is add just a bit of glue to the bottom portion. And we'll go ahead and get him glued on. Place on our little snail there. All right, and once he's fastened on there, kind of flatten out our coffee filter. And for my first sample here, I did kind of rainbow shape. I think this time I might just do random spots of colors to see how those mix up. And maybe we'll start with a red color this time. So just mix your water with your watercolor paint and a paintbrush. And all you really have to do is you can make little dots and spots and add a little more color if you'd like. I like for the colors to really try to pop out a little bit. And I always do a rinse in between. And dot it off, a little rinse. And why don't we go with a green color? I think that would mix well. And so we'll spot this one on here. Add a little more color. And if at any point you need to flatten it out a little bit, it should slightly stick to the paper even, which will kind of help it stay. And let's see, why don't we get a nice dark blue color? And we'll do that around the edge. All right, maybe one more. Let's see. We'll try orange. And just go ahead and fill in your space on your coffee filter. All right, so you go ahead and drop your brush in the water, close those up. And what we'll wanna do next is get our eyes on our snail. And we'll go ahead and just put a couple little dots here. See if I can get my glue to work. And with your Sharpie marker, you just want to paint a little happy face on there. And I would let him dry for just a few minutes so the paper doesn't tear or rip. But once he's dry, you will have your watercolor coffee filter snail that went along with our book, a book for S. Cargo. And I thank you so much for joining us today. Please come back next week at 11 a.m. for our next story time and craft. And we look forward to seeing you then. Thanks so much. See you then. Bye.